Welcome to Nagaland TV. I'm Yashira and you're watching NLTV News Now. First headlines. Four-time Chief Minister of Nagaland and a veteran politician in his own rights, Dr. S.C. Jamir was awarded with the Padma Bhushan. The Working Committee of Naga National Political Groups has made an appeal to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah to find a way that can lead to a honourable and acceptable political solution to the much-awaited Indo-Naga political talks. In spite of recent splash in fuel prices by Nagaland government, fares on public transport services remains unchanged, resulting problems for commuters of Dimapur. Public voiced their resentment over auto fares not being reduced even after the fuel price cut. India is all set to get a fourth COVID vaccine this month with the centre placing orders for one crore doses of Gujarat-based Zydus Kadila's three-dose candidate. And now the news in detail. Four-time Chief Minister of Nagaland and a veteran politician in his own rights, Dr. S.C. Jamir was awarded with the Padma Bhushan, the nation's third highest civilian award by the President of India, Ramnath Kovind, at the Darbar Hall at Rashtrapati Bhavan on Monday. Dr. Jamir also served as a former governor of Odisha, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Goa. Dr. Jamir is being honoured with the Padma Bhushan for his exceptional and distinguished service in the field of public affairs. Born, born on 17 October 1931 in Ungma village, Mokukchong, Dr. Jamir is the first ever Naga politician to receive the award. The veteran politician whose political career spans over 60 years is considered as an authority on Naga political history. The hike in petrol and diesel prices has caused hardships to all, regardless of profession. The hike in fuel prices has led to rise in auto fares, and though the government has lowered the price of petrol and diesel prices, some still continue to charge high prices for fare and refuses to lower it. Nagaland TV on Monday went to Dimapur Railway Gate Auto Stand and asked the opinion of the people. We have more on this. <laughs> আমি গানবি হাজিরা গরি না খা মানো না আ যা গরিবলে দুঃখ হয় না মিলে তো ভাল সব করনে ভালে আছে কো বলে না দাম কবিলে তো ভাল আমি লাই সবতে তো তো অটো ইউনিয়ন গান কিনে আছে না জানে টান প্রাইস রিভাইজ কুছ না কোনা মুভি দিবি না জানে নশুল তো অসল কো গলে তো নামিও লাগে বড়াদু কিলে লে তো হদাই টান একবার উঠি জলে না নামে ইদু সেম হে লই থাকে তো জানে ইদু অটো ড্রাইভারস ইউনিয়ন গানবি তাম বি সাই দিলে তো দুদু বালো কিলে হলে তো এবা উঠাই দিছিল না নামে হয়ে যায় না তাহান না ইদনে তান দুই তো অলপ সাই দিলে বালো জাগার না করো গানে না তাহান একবার মিটিং করে Assam Rifles post at Nokia village, part of the Headquarter 7 sector, Headquarter IGAR North, under the aegis of Space Corps on Monday, organized a free medical camp for the residents of remote village Laoko Mon district, Nagaland, which is located at Arunachal Nagaland border. Laoko village of Konyak tribe is in Mon district, which lacks various basic facilities, including medical facility. The main intent behind conducting the medical camp was to reach out to the needy people of the remote areas and establish faith and build cordial relation with the locals. A total of 80 villages benefited from the medical camp. Loa Kho, village Gaobura, Rang Liang and Pasto express gratitude to Assam Rifles for the same. An intensive workshop on choir conducting and voice has commenced in Mountain Music Academy, Dimapur, on Monday. H.E. artist Bertulis, ambassador of Latvia to India, graced the inaugural function as the guest of honor along with special guest Abu Metha. Notably, artist Bertulis thanked CM Rio and expressed gratitude to Abu Metha and Teja Meru for taking up such initiative. Furthermore, the workshop will be conducted for three days while a concert will take place during the final day at our Sempa. The dear one program Sanjay will have here. We pray. This is a traditional Naga show. We'll keep you warm in winter. 
in the winters of Latvia. Another one for you. Probably from the Owl tribe. This one comes from the Owl tribe of most in this year. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. President Ramnath Kovin on Monday presented the Padma Awards in the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Total of 119 Padma Awards were presented by President this year. The list comprises 7 Padma Vibhushan, 10 Padma Bhushan and 102 Padma Shri Awards. 29 of the awardees are women, 16 posthumous awardees and 1 transgender awardee. Notably, Olympian P.V. Sindhu, actor Kangana Ranaut, filmmaker Karan Johar, producer Ekta Kapoor, women's hockey team captain Rani Rampal were among those honoured with converted Padma Awards. Furthermore, late BJP leaders Sushma Swaraj and Arun Jetli and late singers S.P. Halla Subramaniam were also conferred Hala with the award posthumously. While other prominent names who have been honoured with the prestigious civilian awards include producer singer Suresh Wadkar and Adnan Sami, former head scientist at ICMR, Dr. Raman Ganga Khedkar, Air Marshal Dr. Padma Band Opadhyay are among others. The Kolkata High Court on Monday took on record of the legal status report filed by a special investigation team. The SIT was constituted by the court to investigate cases other than rape murder that took place post declaration of West Bengal Assembly election. The court also ordered the Central Bureau of Investigations to investigate on cases related to rape, murder, after match election results. Kolkata High Court directed both SIT and CBI to file fresh reports on 23rd December. On Monday, the court directed the councils to wait till fresh status. The court further stated that it would pass direction regarding compensation after such reports. Former Congress MLAs from Manipur joins Bharatiya Janta Party. Rajkumar Imo Singh and Yam Thong Haukip joined BJP in presence of Union Minister Sarbananda Sonowal and BJP leader Sambit Patra. This development comes just months ahead of Manipur Assembly election. With this development, the BJP has expressed confidence that it will win the upcoming Assembly polls. Ahoy. 
India is all set to get a fourth COVID vaccine this month with the center placing orders for one crore doses of Gujarat-based Zydus Kadila's three-dose candidate. The vaccine Zycov-D has already been granted emergency use authorization for adults and children above 12, making it potentially the first to be administered to the adolescent population in India. The center's move also paves the way for the use of the first COVID vaccine in the world to be developed on a DNA platform where the SARS-CoV-2 spike proteins are reproduced to create antibodies. Gujarat police have registered an FIR on charges of murder and attempt to murder against 10 personnel of the Pakistan Maritime Security Agency after they fired at an Indian fishing boat in the Arabian Sea off Gujarat coast. Killing a crew member and injuring another, an official said on Monday the FIR was registered on Sunday night at Navi Bandar Police Station in Por Bandar District, which has territorial jurisdiction beyond 12 nautical miles off the Gujarat coast. Under Indian Panel Code Sections 302-307, and 114 and relevant provisions of the Arms Act, the officials said, India has taken serious note of the unprovoked firing by PMSA and will take up the issue diplomatically with the Pakistani side, official sources in Delhi earlier said. Google on Monday celebrated Indian cell biologist Dr. Kamal Ranadive's 104th birthday through its popular Google Doodle. The Doodle has been crafted by India-based illustrator and art director Ibrahim Rainatkat and depicts Rana Dive looking through a microscope. Dr. Kamal Samarath, popularly known as Dr. Kamal Rana Dive, was born on November 8, 1917 in Pune. Notably, Rana Dive is best known for her groundbreaking cancer research and devotion to creating a more equitable society through science and education. The first look of Into the Wild with Beer Grills featuring Bollywood actor Vicky Kaushal was unveiled on Monday. This special episode is all set to premiere on 12th November. The actor also took to social media to share his excitement. Vicky will be testing his survival skills with the world-famous adventurer and survivalist Beer Grills in Maldives. Into the Wild with Beer Grills is an innovative format inspired by Man vs. Wild, one of the most watched wilderness survival television series globally the first episode of the first of the series featured superstar rajnikant followed by akshay kumar and ajay devgan that is all for now keep watching nagaland tv for more news and updates